I promise you. He is, the time is, has started to separate the true believers from the, the pretenders. The sheep and the goats are being separated. The wheat and the chaff are being separated. And my desire is to challenge every single one of you and those watching to rise above compromise with this world, with this culture, with this society, and to really throw yourself into Christ. We live this life and we occupy and we build and we, as, as God said in Genesis, he said, have dominion, have dominion, take dominion over the earth, subdue it, master it, use it to create. So that's what we're supposed to do. And whatever capacity we're in our jobs and our families, projects that we're working on, whatever it is, we're supposed to master this world, this life, until the day that that trumpet blast sounds and all of those who have the power, all those who have the presence of the Holy Spirit living inside of them will hear that trumpet and will be changed and transformed in a blink of an eye. But until that moment, we are to work, to be busy, to be building and creating God's kingdom, to bring influence into every sphere and every domain that we occupy, our family, our jobs, our communities. We're to bring light where there is no light. We're to bring hope where there's no hope. We do that in many ways, shapes and forms and through opportunities. It's recognizing what is God saying to me? What is God doing? Where is God leading me? What are, what are the, the doors that are in front of me? This one looks good, but is it the right one? There is a way that looks right to a man, the Bible says, but the end is what? Destruction. See, there's a way in that, that's being presented to you by the government, by your job, by your family members that it sounds good because this is everybody in society and culture is saying the same thing. They're, they're beating the same drum and they're marching in the same direction. And so it, it's so easy to just get swept away with that. But God has called us to be counterculturalists, to move against the tide and the waves of society and culture. When everything is pushing one way, God has called us to swim upstream in this dying and perverse world and generation. He didn't call us, God did not call us to fit in. I want you to remember this. God did not call his people to fit in. He called us to stand out. So this morning, I would like us to focus, as we get ready to worship, to focus on how good God is and who you are in Christ. And not only who you are in Christ, but how are you living your life as a representative? You know that God called us to be ambassadors, to represent him in this world, in this earth. You and I are representatives. In other words, when we go to work, when we go into the community, when we're making videos, whatever we're doing, do people see Christ in us? Do they see him? doesn't mean they're gonna listen don't get it twisted and you're gonna see from my message today don't get it twisted just because they see Christ in you doesn't mean they're going to accept you or embrace you or welcome you that's not that's not what's happening that's not what they did for Jesus that's not listen Jesus came as the son of God he is the son of God he was the son of God and he represented the father he said, I don't do anything on my own accord. Everything I do and say comes from the Father. He represented the Father in the earth. And they still crucified him. The apostles represented Christ. They didn't come in their own names. They didn't come to establish their own organization, their own uh, 501c3 nonprofit organization. They didn't come for that. They came to represent Christ, the kingdom of God. 
and they burned them at the stake. They cut their heads off and they crucified them upside down. So what I'm saying to you is don't, you have to have the right perspective, the right kingdom perspective. The, the kingdom perspective is that am I shining for Jesus knowing that it can cost me everything and still be willing to shine? That's the challenge this morning, amen?